Hello guys, Ushio here, and I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on the Kung Fu Master Wind Rotation. First, let's start with the basic Kung Fu Master Rotation. It just starts with left click, 2, left click, F. Press those buttons a little faster and you should look a little something like this. Practice this combo because it will be the most effective way for you to avoid losing any chi during combat. Now the most important part about playing wind is that it requires you to use the most of your searing palm while reducing its cooldown. Unlike fire, wind doesn't have a consistent skill that will reduce its cooldown. You have to use other skills that will reduce its cooldown. So let's go over the skills list and see which skills reduce their cooldown. So you have Q and E, which reduces it by 2 seconds. You have SS, that reduces it by 2 seconds. You have Roaring Tiger, which reduces it by 4 seconds. You have Counter, which reduces it by 1 second. You have Pivot Kick, which reduces it by 7 seconds. You have Avenging Fist, which reduces it by 5 seconds. And you have Chained Mace, which reduces it by 4 seconds. By utilizing all these skills, you'll be able to reduce the cooldown. And you should be able to use Stage 1 again by the time your Stage 4 effect is ended. So if you want your Wind Rotation to be at its most effective, you'll need two items. Oops, that's achievements. You'll need Holy Fire Soul Badge, and you'll need Skyrift Mystic Badge. The Skyrift Mystic Badge gives you a 300% additional attack power on a successful Cyclone Kick after using Common Strike. So, every time you use Common Strike, you'll get additional damage for your Cyclone Kick. There, I'll demonstrate Common Strike, Cyclone Kick, Common Strike, Cyclone Kick. It's around 60,000, and let's do it normally. About 20,000 damage less. I'll do it again. Com strike F, Com strike F. It's around 60,000 with the effect. And normally, with normal cycling kicks, it's around 40,000. Now I'm going to demonstrate how you should do your opening wind rotation. So first you start with counter, and then you use right mouse button for avenging fist. You use your blue buff, and your V, and your X for the first stage of saving pop. I'll demonstrate it. If you do it in quick succession, you'll be able to do an animation cancel, where you cancel your V, and use your X at the same time. I'll show it again. Counter, right mouse, tab VX. Now I'll show you how to do your opening rotation while also using your Mystic Badge at its full potential. So when you do your opener and place down all your buffs, you're going to start wanting to use 4RF, demonstrated right here. effect of the blue buff, your common strike will be constantly reset. So I'll show it on how it should be done. That is how your opener should look like. So, I'll demonstrate it one more time. Next up is the Holy Fire Soul Badge. By having this badge, you can cast Cyclone Kick without condition for 6 seconds on a successful Roaring Tiger. Meaning, you don't have to use two to 
proc your F, you don't have to use left click to cross your F. All you have to do is use X and you can cast F for 6 seconds without any other conditions. <coughs> by, using, by utilizing this badge, you basically have a mini soul burn for yourself for 6 seconds long. So, just like you would during soul, soul burn, you would use LBF. And you would anti cancel like this. That is how it should be during your rotations. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to use everything I've taught so far into one full rotation. Keep in mind that once the stage 4 effect of Searing Palm is ended, the cooldown should have been reset for st stage 1 again. So it should be up available for use as soon as stage 4 is ended. how a full rotation should look like. Always have 100% of the time for your Searing Palm and you must use the full time for each stage of Searing Palm. I hope you guys enjoyed this guide on the wind rotation and I really hope you guys switch over from fire because that build sucks. 